Well, first up on the show, the U.S. President Joe Biden has assured full support to Israel during his short visit to the country. Biden asserted Israel wasn't behind the deadly rocket strike on a Gaza hospital that killed 500 people. He also announced the resumption of urgent aid to the besieged Palestinian enclave. And now the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is also in Israel. Sunak is uh, also assuring full support to its, uh, to its ally. Listen in. I'm pleased to be here in Israel at this important time. Above all, I'm here to express my solidarity with the Israeli people. You have suffered an unspeakable, horrific act of terrorism, and I want you to know that the United Kingdom and I stand with you. I'm looking forward to my meetings later today with the Prime Minister and President, and I very much hope that they will be productive meetings. And as per the Palestinian Health Ministry, 471 people were killed in the hospital strike. Israel denied responsibility, saying an initial investigation showed the strike was caused by a malfunctioning rocket fired by Palestinian militant group Islamic Jihad. Like Hamas, Islamic Jihad is proscribed as a terror organization by the United States and other Western governments. Arab countries have almost universally blamed Israel, however, for the hospital strike. They include Egypt, Jordan, the UAE, among the region's few nations that have diplomatic ties with Israel. Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi predicted the end of Israel following the deadly Gaza hospital explosion apart from funding the Hamas. Israel's arch four backs Hezbollah in Lebanon as well. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation, a 57-member bloc of Muslim-majority countries, denounced Israel's backers for granting the country impunity in its war. The continuing, uh, continuing the, uh, the Western leaders thought who have visited Israel in the wake of the Hamas attack. The British Prime Minister is in Israel to seek a de-escalation of the conflict. Rishi Sunak will then travel to West Asian capitals as part of his diplomatic efforts. The U.S. President Joe Biden is also eyeing an unprecedented aid package for Israel and the Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank as part of a wider $100 billion package that includes support for Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Chinese President Xi Jinping has told Egypt's Prime Minister that Beijing hoped to work with Cairo to bring more stability to West Asia.